What is going on, Quotation Nation? Quote by Lee coming at you with episode 7 of our Pokemon Sun Wonder Lock. If you guys are excited for this episode, then go ahead and make sure you show your love down below and let me know what you think of this episode and the LP so far as a whole. So let's do a quick, quick recap. And oh, that's Tauros, not menu. Okay. Quick recap. Um, so we are on the second island. We're actually about to take on the first trial. Um, we have a Cutie Fly. We have a Makuhide, a Wingle, and a Mimikyu on our squad. We lost two Pokemon in the last episode, which really, really sucked. Um, we lost our uh, Metapod, because we were just about to have a Butterfree, so that kind of blew a little bit. And who else did we lose? Um, hmm. I don't know. We lost somebody. I don't remember who. Zubat, maybe? I don't know. Did we have a Zubat? But anyways, we're going to go ahead and keep on going through Paniola Town. Got yeah, some more story up here. And then we will finally get to make it to the first trial. Battle me, lady. <clears throat> Battle me, lady. There we go. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So you are challenged by Madam Elizabeth. Ooh, she's got a carpet. Uh oh, she has a carpet. We don't have a grass type move yet. Um, I guess a. Hmm, I guess Fairy Wind is gonna do the most. Actually, Draining Kiss probably does more. <coughs> Sharpen. His attack is gonna graze. Hopefully, he doesn't hit us with like a. What's that move called? Power Gem? Or something like that? That would hurt. Rock Throw? That's gonna hurt too. Oh man. We gotta switch up. We gotta switch up. We gotta go right into. Ooh, we can go into Wing Bowl. We have the Water Gun. We do have the water gun. That is very clutch. We got Wingle in the last episode as well. Oh, but can we live? Oh, we avoided. We dodging Wingle. Yes, my man. Wingle dodging. Oh, that didn't do as much as I thought it would. He's gonna go for a Harden. That's good. Raise those defenses. Raise them. All I need to do is live one rock throw. That's all I need. Come on. Come on. No! I should have known. Plus one. It's Wingle. Water doesn't resist. That's a great start, guys. That is a wonderful start to the episode. Losing our Wingle. That's fantastic. Plus, we have the fire challenge on this island. That's going to be just great. And a full restore. This lady. She doesn't go for the full restore on the last turn, but she goes for it this time. Oh, man. Let's go for a knockoff. Maybe she's got an item. No? Okay, I guess going for the first break is going to be our strongest move. Quick lock going to pop. There we go. And we already lost Wingle. This is a great way to start off the episode. Fantastic. Start it with the death. Oh man, maybe we'll lose. Maybe we will lose this challenge and that would just suck. That'd be absolutely terrible. Come on, we need one more. She's not got any more full store. She's an old lady, she ain't got money. She ain't got cash. We got the whoop up on this car being cash tag, get up out. Get up out. There we go, carbon. Alrighty, well, let's go ahead and bring our Wingle and throw him in the graveyard. Boom, alright. What a way to start things off. We're gonna lose a Wingle right off the bat. Uh. <clears throat> I still love that music though. Okay, oh, we lost Magnemite, that's right. Well, there we go. So we have a couple Mons in the graveyard, but we're about to get another encounter. Possibly a few encounters in this episode, actually. So that's exciting. 
Yeah, that music though. Ooh, a Zygarde thingy. Hey, old man Jenkins. Oh, you've got to be a trial girl, right? Well, you've got some good sense of timing. Captain's actually here right now, so come on. Hmm. What captain? Is it Malo? Oh, this ain't the captain. This is a mill tank. Oh, there is. There she is. That's Malo. Malo the farm girl. The hippie. Well, she's not quite the hippie. There's a hippie later on that we'll see. Thanks for stopping by. The Moo Moo Milk from Paniola Ranch is the best. It's so rich and creamy when you use it in white sauce and other things. Mmm, the taste can't even be described. Oh, by the way, since I was lucky enough to run into you here, I'll do you a little favor. Hey, we got that young Stoutman. See, Stoutman can sniff out items for you that are buried in the dirt where you can't even see them. When you're riding Stoutman, pressing the B button will to use the Stoutman search is what it's all about. Get up there and try it. There's all kinds of stuff laying around for you to try to find. If you are uh, if you go all the way down Route 5, you'll come up on Brooklyn Hill. My friend Lana is up there, so say hi to her for me if you see her. Ooh, Lana. My girl, Lana. All right, let's check out this Stout one. Yo, running around like a doge. Ooh, ooh. No, I didn't want to. I think it's right. No! There we go. Hey, we got some fresh water. That's always useful. Get a little bit of. I feel like there's something over here. Hey, some milk. Let's see, what else can we sniff out? Come on, something. A repel, that's always nice to get as well. Stoutland is pretty cool, but I don't use it like ever. Anything, anything at all? Alright, doesn't look like there's much else here. So we'll go ahead and keep on going. Alright, so we are gonna get our first encounter. And then we will wonder trade it away. It's probably going to be a mud gray. It is another mud gray. So we can go ahead and catch it. Trade, her, trade it away. Him, her. I don't know which is which, but it is. It is a him. Uh, uh, is he going to be able to knock us out? I didn't heal up. It's a little bit scary. Let's go into Makuhita. Mud spot. Oh, I guess we could have gone for the paralyzed. Electricity's power was weak here. Let's go for a fake out. Boom. Get that flinch. Um, and let's go for a knockoff. Yo, the quick claw though. That quick claw popping. Roto tiller. Don't call for help. If he calls for help. In a normal Nuzlocke, you'd uh, actually be able to decide which one you want to capture, but it's just a Wonderlock, so we can't capture the bolt. And it doesn't matter since we want to trade in new way. Come on, three, and there we go. We're going to snag us a Mudbray, and we're going to hop into the Wonder Trade. Do, 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 do. Hey, getting level 22. There you go. Vital throw. Um, that's the one that moves last right and always crits. Oh, it never misses. Base 70. Let's see, what's Brick Brick? Brick Brick is base 75. Force Palm is base 60. Um, yeah, let's get rid of Force Palm. We'll get rid of the first Palm. The first Palm, guys. Alright. Let's go into the Wonder Trade. Got my stylus. Yes, we're gonna give him a name. Let's go, Atreyu. Atreyu! 
Atreyu. Atreyu is one of my... I mean, I won't say it's one of my favorite bands, but I used to listen to them a lot when I was younger. Atreyu is a pretty darn good band, if I can say so myself. Alright, let's connect to the internet. And keep on going. Keep on going through this Pokemon. Nuzlocke, Wonderlock, whatever you want to call it, lock. Grab my water, where my water rat, because you guys already know. That if you're not hydrating, you're dehydrating. Cool Bali. Cool Bali. That is me. I love to sing, and my name is Cool Bali. That was terrible singing, guys. Do not ever sing if you suck. Okay, that's kind of a. I mean, you should sing. The only way you're gonna get better is by practice, but I am just terrible. I've tried practicing. I'm not getting any better. All right, let's get rid of, oh, it's a modest. We could hit on the special side. Oh man, someone's gonna be like, well, there goes that Treyu. Oh, Treyu. Let's see, hopefully we can get something good. Some Something that we haven't gotten in use yet. I would love to get like a Passimian. Um, Wind pod would be cool. A an Oricorio. I wouldn't mind one of those. Um, yeah, hopefully something good. But we have Willie from Canada, Alberta. What is going on, Willie? Shout out to you. <clears throat> Enjoy this a trade. I love Mudsdale though. I used Mudsdale in our VGC. Um, battle spot. Ooh, the Alolan Meow. That's something we haven't actually used yet. That is something that I could actually have fun using. There we go. We got a Meow. Boom. I wonder if it's bread or what. Meow. Even though I don't like uh, Alolan Persian's design, I can rock out with Meow. I can rock out with it. Alright, well let's go ahead and get out of here. And we'll go ahead and check this Meowth out. Alright, let's take a gander. So it's level 26, perfect. Perfect, perfect. It has a adamant nature, so not bad, not bad at all. Adamant nature. That is cool. So it is a little higher level than some of these other guys. So we'll still be leveling up our Cutie Fly and our Makikita. But not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty pretty decent. Um, oh, I didn't see if they had Technician or not. Go ahead and heal up. Just because Cutie Fly is a frail little buggy. And I do not want that thing to die. Because... I would love to keep using it throughout the playthrough. Boom. But yeah, like I was saying earlier, guys, I have uh, I used a Mudsdale in our VGC Ascension video, um, and I think it, it did some pretty good work. You know, it's got good defenses, good attack stat. It's a pretty solid Mon, in my opinion. I think he's, he's very good. Um, I don't know if he's better in singles or doubles. I think he, he can can be pretty good in singles, especially um, with a lot of people running like Tapu Koko and get a, a free switch in on it. It's not really gonna hit us too hard with any of its stabs, um, especially not the electricity, it's not doing anything. So yeah, I think I think Mudsdale is a, a pretty good mod. Probably gonna uh, be sitting in the UU tier. Are you raising your Pokemon? No, not yet, but I would definitely like to, sir. Sir, we got uh, Breeder Glenn. Okay, Glenn, calm down with that stash, Colonel Mustard. Come on. Who are you trying to fool? He's got a Mud, uh, mud Gray. <clears throat> mud Gray. Let's go for the Draining Kiss. Your special defense is straight up trash. Well, I wouldn't say trash. It's it's not the highest, but it's definitely kind of low. He's gonna 
lower the speed step. Good move, mate. Good move, mate. I actually was wondering what kind of special defense does my mud scale have? I know it's not super high. It's, yeah, it's base 55. Wait, no, no, no. Base 85. So it's actually not terrible. I like to run assault vest on mine. Um, to make sure so that with with assault vest it goes to 120. So it's it's not awful. Um, I usually run max HP, max attack, because he's got a good HP stat at 100, and he's got a good attack stat at 125 pace. And so running max HP, max attack with assault vest is pretty good, I think. Um, we're not gonna be able to use an assault vest, unfortunately, or probably a mud sail in this playthrough, but you never know, maybe we'll get somebody to trade us one. Alright, go through the grass without getting into a battle. Alright, I really want to get to this trial, I want to beat the trial today, that's the plan guys. Um, we should get one more encounter and then the trial, maybe two more encounters, we're gonna run away. And we're gonna get another Poke Ride pretty quick. Um, we could go in here and we could hatch the egg. We do get an Eevee. Apparently, blah blah blah, we've got nurseries here, we don't get any, uh, blah blah blah. Oh, and there's something else. If you leave two Pokemon together, sometimes an egg. They found an egg, let's go ahead and take it. It is gonna be an Eevee. We'll bring it with us. I don't know if we, if we hatch it, then we will have to trade it away. So I don't know, I might just leave it in the, I think I'm just going to leave it in the gosh darn PC. Um, I don't really feel like hatching the egg. If we ever need a Pokemon though, then I'll go ahead and hatch it. <clears throat> okay, so we can't go down there, but we do get the amulet coin right here. Amulet coin, so those of you who don't know where amulet coin is, this is where it is, it's right there. Um, we can actually give that to a Pokemon right now. Let's give it to our Meow. Start making some money. Mm, we got all these new ball, new items. There we go. Awesome, awesome, possum. Battle me, bruh. Alright, trial goer, have a look at my kid. His kids? He keeps his kids in Pokeballs? What is going on? No! I don't know what this guy is doing. Gentleman Gerard keeps his kids. Oh, man, your, your kid is a Sableye. Ooh. Ooh. That's dangerous. All right, well, a draining kiss is gonna do all kinds of, oh, it's going for the detect. It's going for the detect, guys. Hmm. You know what we could do? We could go, um, I just remembered another spot we can get in an encounter. Critical hit, boom, get knocked out. We can actually go, if we go back to um, Melee Mele Island, we can go to 10 Carat Hill, now that we have the Tauros Rex, and we could get another encounter. You're growing rapidly, that's wonderful. Maybe we'll do that sometime. Maybe off screen. No, probably not off screen. Maybe we just when we have some time. You'll find Brooklyn Hill and at the end of Route 5. Okay. Alright, so we have Route 5 here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and double battle. Let's put Meow right there so we can make sure we make use of that amulet coin. So we'll get an encounter here, and then we'll get an encounter at Brooklet Hill, and then once we have both encounters, then we'll trade, trade them away. So we've got some trainers, got some trainers to take on, twins, Isa, and Nico. They about to get whooped up on those, these little kindergartens, Igly buff, and happen. Okay. You're about to get wrecked, okay? Like, I feel almost bad for you, but then again, I don't. Oh wait, this, this fairy wind hit both. Nope. 
Okay, well, we're gonna go for the Silver Wind onto Igly Buff, and we're gonna go for a... Uh, I guess we go for a Fury Swipes onto the Happiny. Onto that Happiny. One. Two. Can we get five hits? Nope. Nope, we can't. Oh, we get the 10%! Way to go, cutie fly. Copycat. Gonna go for that Fury Swipes, eh? Oh, the Silver Wind. Oh, but you go on to the... Come on. Come on! Go for the Silver Wind on to the Meowth. You gotta use those strats, kids. You gotta learn. You gots to learn. Um, go for another Fury Swipes. Two hit. We'll knock this sucker out. And with the added special boost, we should easily knock out that little Iggly Buff. Iggly Buff! You think that you're tough, but you're just a little puff. Evolution! That's the way to go. Get that fairy typing, and then you might be unstoppable against, like, a dragon type, but not against some other guys, like a steel type. How did he outspeed us, or did we miss our fairy type? How did we miss a Fury Swipe? Does it have like 95% accuracy? Let's see. Oh, it had 80 accuracy for Fury, for Thrower Fury Swipes. That's incredibly low. That's crazy. For Fury Swipes? Man, I thought that was 100%. Who knew? I guess you learn something new every day. It is true what they say. I didn't mean to rhyme. Not that time. Oh! Hashtag bars. Hashtag bars. Okay, we got 20 minutes to beat this route. Oh, there's Glady and I forgot about this crap. Okay. Okay. It's no big deal. Gonna pick up the super potion. We'll come back and fight that shit. Alright. Here we go. We're gonna have to battle Gladian. Ha ha! Man, I lost again! Dude, the things I know. Are you even taking this seriously? I am. I am. So seriously. I'm seriously enjoying it. Enjoying it? You can enjoy Pokemon battling when you put everything you have into it, which clearly you haven't. Whoa, hey, Lee. This guy is plenty scary. <laughs> You're Lee? Who? Hmm, so you have enough sense to be wary. Not bad. I'm glad he I battle for my partner, No, to make it strong. But most of our time gets used up doing small jobs for Team Skull. Hmm. Battle me. I won't take no for an answer. Okay, but trust me, man. You bow to get whooped up on me. Okay, so we got the first battle against Gladiator, guys. Show some hype for this fool who's about to get whooped up on. Don't you know? Don't you know? Yeah, he's for real about to get destroyed. He's got a Zubat on his team. Come on. Come on, man. Zubat, really? Zubat, really? Come on, man. Okay, um... So we don't have anything that can hit him super effective there. Let's go into Mimikyu. Let's go into Mimikyu and wreck this guy. Completely wreck this guy. That's the plan. Alright, he's gonna go for a wing attack, he's gonna break the disguise. Mimikyu is so good, guys. Incredible mod. Incredible Pokemon. Um, we can go for a Shadow Seed. We're 13 levels above, you're kind of a frail little duck. Yeah, you're about to get one shot! You got one shot! One shot, one chance, doesn't matter cause you ain't got cool pants. Actually, his pants are pretty cool, I would love to wear his style. Let's switch into the Makuhia. Um, we're gonna have some super effective moves against this thing because it has the normal Titan. That normal Titan. What is he gonna be like? Level 20? Level 18. You're not even level 20, bruh. Bruh. Oh, and that quick claw pop. That quick claw pop. There we go. Super effective. Man, that is actually a good amount of damage to just attack. For just a tackle, does like 19 damage. 19 whole damage, guys. Alright, Typhoon, get hashtag out of here. 
Man, Gladian, you're a scrub. What a scrub. Everybody, type scrub. Gladian is a scrub in the comments down below, guys. Gladian is a scrub. Go ahead and type that down below. Alright. We beat this fool. How annoying. Give us that money, though. That money, though. Trying to get the cash that we need to play this game, bro. There we go. Alright. Hmm. It's not like me to slip up like that. I've got to keep fighting stronger opponents. Looks like I'm still not ready. What? That kid there. His Pokemon are weak. And sure, it's fine to enjoy that. But this brat, he's just using that as an excuse not to try hard. Because he can't beat the Kahuna. Because he can't beat Hala when he's serious. You know my gramps? Wait, so you think I'm strong? Ah, look at you, little Gladian. Oh, <clears throat> ah, look at you, little Gladian. Aren't you just a real cool guy? <laughs> <laughs> Yo. Uh. Yo. Yeah. Uh. I guess it's no surprise a homeless kid would turn out spineless too, huh? No worries, we've got enough backbone to cover food. Just give it up already, huh? You know you can't beat me. You'll just get your Pokemon hurt for no reason. They're good Pokemon. Ha! We came all this way, and for what? For a big fat waste of our time, thanks to you. If you hadn't gotten in our way, we could have stolen the totem Pokemon from Brooklyn Hill. Let's get out of here. Look, Murkrow are crying, and it's time we should be flying. Yo, she got bars, though. Listen up, Gladian. The boss does like you. That's true. Ah, man. That's true. But you're just some hired help to keep around for when we need you. You are a uh, park team skull. Not really. And you never will be. Got it? You better get it. <clears throat> He's gonna walk away, y'all. Gangsta like. Boom. Alright, so we beat that guy. How is gonna be like, yo, thank you. Thanks, Lee, and Cutie Flag, too. It was a good battle. Phew, looks like I gotta uh, train up my team if I'm gonna take on the trial at Brooklyn Hill next. Here, Lee, take these with you. And those revives that we can sell for mad cash. We don't need no revives. Okay. Um, ooh, we got some more battles. Let's go ahead and grab our encounter, actually. Grab this here encounter, and then hopefully we'll get another encounter, and maybe we'll get uh, we'll end the episode by clearing out the route, and then getting those encounters at Brooklyn Hill, and then trading them away. Possibly that'll be what we're gonna do, because I don't think we have time to do the entire trial. Get paralyzed, Lollipop! Oh. You poor little thing. Okay, let's hopefully not knock it out with one fairy wind. It's lower. Come on. There we go. There we go. This will be an easy catch. Let's go ahead and catch it in a in a great ball. Might as well. We might as well catch it in a great ball. A great, great ball. Alright. This guy is ours. Cool, cool. We caught us a little up. All right. We'll go ahead and go ahead and give him a nickname. Um, probably just gonna give him a normal nickname like Doge, D O G E, Young Doge. Yes, we'll give him a nickname. We're gonna name this uh, Young, Young, Space. Caps, Doge, Young Doge, Young Doge, even though it's a female, that's cool, and we'll trade it away here in a second, um, we're not going to use it, we are going to get this double battle though, get a little bit more mad cash, get that money, money, you think that I'm funny, funny, Funny looking maybe, but you don't know that I got that beauty fly and the meow yo with the amulet coin trying to get that cash. I think that you're cool with the rufflet and the wallaby, but I say ass. Got him! Got him, guys. That was terrible. That was absolutely horrendous. Um, we can go for a fairy win. Or a, actually, let's go for the drain kiss on wallaby. 
And let's go for the faint attack onto the roughly. Faint attack. Oh yeah, that damage. That damage. Super effective. He's got the clock. That's actually gonna hurt quite a bit. Holy crap. Oh no 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 cutie fly no oh my gosh guys I'm so upset right now no 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 that can't have happened oh my gosh I'm gonna kill you I'm gonna murder you right now you're dead oh man you just messed up you just done messed up oh you fool Oh, it doesn't affect your normal type, duh. Oh my gosh, guys. Oh, that infuriates me beyond words. The pluck and the wing attack. Oh, man. Um, we'll go for this. Actually, we'll go for the shadow sneak onto the bullet bee. That's stupid. It didn't say no effect onto the Ruffler. That's stupid. Usually it shows if it's going to be effective or not. Why didn't it show? Come on. Stupid game. I don't know why. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes it don't. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh my gosh, guys. I'm... I have no worries anymore. That's ridiculous. It's just sad. It's just sad. I loved our cutie fly. Cutie fly was the best. Cutie fly was MVP. But alas, the graveyard has woken. I guess the grave keeper has woken and he's digging graves. They are digging graves today. All right. Well, now we need these encounters more than ever. More than ever, guys. I want to get the encounter. Okay, there's a focus center right there. Um, we already got this encounter on this route. Let's go ahead and put Cutie Fly into the graveyard. Oh man, guys, I'm I'm pretty pretty upset right now. There you go, into the graveyard. We're gonna go ahead and move that egg down there. All right, well, we have this as our team at the moment. Um, let's go ahead and remove that item, that silver powder. Did we have any items in these guys? Um, all right. All right, well, let's go get our encounter on Brooklyn Hill. Um, what do you got to sell me? Oh, you have a Sparkling Z Crystal. Yes, sir. Yes, I do. Um, let's see. We have potions, super potions. We could buy eleven of those. Paradise heal, escape ropes, repels. I think we're good. Hey, Gramps, what do you got to say? Totem Pokemon. They have fearsome defenses. Yes, they do. Perhaps you might use this to your advantage. Hey, thank you for the dire pit. I know what it does. I don't need you to explain it. Hey, a bounce me. This the Pokemon is perfect for Brooklyn Hill. If, if you'd like, trade it for your Lillipop. Oh, unfortunately we can't because we have to wonder trade Lillipop. Excuse me. Yeah, sure. Quality Pokemon. I'm looking for blah blah blah. A Feebas. Mm. If you happen to catch a Feebas or get one in a trade, that'd be cool. I need to actually get a Feebas in my Pokemon Moon game because I would love to train up on my Lotus. I love my Lotus. It's one of my favorite water type Pokemon. Alright, so we're going to run into Lana here. Um, so we are... Oh, we are going to start the trial technically. Oh man, I don't know if we want to save it or not. We only have like 10 more minutes left on this episode. Let's go ahead. Uh, I don't think we can beat it in 10 minutes, can we? All right, we're gonna try, guys. We're gonna try. 
We're gonna do this trial. Hello, I'm Lana. I serve as the captain of Brooklyn Hill. You... Actually, this... She's got like a, a Hinata voice from, um... Naruto. Pyakuryam! You look like an able-bodied trainer! Can I ask you for your help with something? Sure. Ah, uh, then follow me! This way, please! Alright. We're gonna do this trial, guys. Pick this up. That guy wants to battle. We're not gonna battle him yet. Okay, so we, oh, we are gonna get our encounter. Okay, we're gonna get our, our encounter, and then we're gonna trade these Pokemon away. Ooh, a Morlol! I would love to use a Morlol. I would love a Shinodic. That'd be so cool. Um, let's go for the faint attack. It's gonna be resisted. So we can hit him with one or two more of those. Astonish. Boom. It's like no damage whatsoever. Go for another. There we go. We'll probably even go for one more. But I don't want to risk the crit. So I'm gonna just go ahead and throw a great ball. He's gonna call for help. Don't be calling for help. Come on. Come on. Unless it's a shiny. If it was a shiny, then oh man guys. There's no idea. Idea. No idea. Um, well, let's go for a Fury Swipe then on to this one. Knock it out. Come on. I need three hits. I need three hits. Come on! Two times? You kidding me? You're gonna go for Flash to lower the accuracy. Great. Mega Drain as well. Alright, I guess we're gonna switch into... We're gonna switch Pokemon. Let's go into Mimikyu. I didn't heal up when I was at that Poke Center either. What a scrub, dude. What a scrub. Quote by Lee is a scrub. And you're gonna flash. Of course you are. Of course you are! Why wouldn't you? Alright, um, let's Shadow Sneak the level 15 one. They're both level 15. But this one should die. There we go. Effect Spore, that paralysis. Someone has been doing the homework, little mushroom. I think this guy is so cool. I think it's a way better Amoongus, in my opinion. Come on, don't call for help. Don't call for help. No help come. No help come. Stay away. Unless you're a shiny. You're not a shiny. Well then. We're gonna just have to shadow sneak you to Oblivion. We're minus two. We're minus two accuracy right now, too. That's crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and break my disguise, eh? Break that disguise. Do it. Do it. I dare ya. I double dog dare ya. Don't call for any more help. Come on. Come on. I didn't even use an adrenaline orb. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Um, ooh, let's go for the heal ball. Go for the heal ball. And it's not even gonna shake. Okay. That's that's great. Thank you. That's that's fantastic, Morlaw! Get in this Pokeball right now! Alright, we're going for the great ball. Get in this great ball, I swear. I swear you better get in this great ball. You best be getting in this great ball right now. You best. There we go. There we go! We're gonna catch this Morlo. We're gonna name this thing, uh, Fun Guy. Cause he's a fun guy! Or let's name him Shiitake. Let's name him Shiitake. Because Shinodic, I think, is named after a shiitake mushroom. That would be a good name for this guy. Grass Fairy, I think that's a cool typing. Um, yeah, let's name this guy. Shiitake. There we go, shiitake. Alright guys, we're going to go to the Poke Center, we're going to heal up, and I guess we're not going to take on the trial, because that kind of took a little bit of time, 
for those battles uh, to get that stupid um, more ball. So we're gonna just go ahead and heal up here at the Poke Center. We're gonna trade these guys away and we'll end the episode on that. And then we will take on the Brooklyn Hill trial in the next episode. Alrighty, let's see, let's see, let's see. So we'll have a team of five. We lost two Pokemon in this episode, which was not fun. Not fun at all, especially when Cutie Fly died. I was, I'm still upset. I'm gonna be upset about that for the rest of the LP, guys. It's gonna be, man, I wanted to use him. I wanted to use Right Bumpy during this Let's Play, even though I used one during my Pokemon Moon Let's Play, but I didn't use it all the way through. And that's kind of why I wanted to use this all the way through. But that's okay. That is just fine. Do, 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 do. Ooh, we got global missions. I don't even know what the global mission is. I haven't even checked it out yet. Alright, wonder trade away. Wonder trade, trade a wonder. Alright, little pup. Your vital spirit, mild nature. Someone's gonna love this young doge. Goodbye, young doge. Let's see who we bout to get on the trade. Get on the tra 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 trade. Come on, find somebody. There we go. We got this guy from, or this girl from Japan, Kayato. Goodbye, young doge. All right, what are you gonna give me? Ooh, it's in a quick ball. It's an Abra. Woo, that is pretty sweet. That is pretty darn dope, if you do ask me. Okay, I am fine with that. I am totally fine. Unfortunately, we won't be able to get an Alakazam. Why can't you send me an, uh, a Kadabra? Come on, man. Well, that's cool. You got us an Abra. Abra, Kadabra, an Alakazam. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Okay, one more trade. One more trade to go. One more, guys. Make sure you go ahead and leave me with a like for some extra luck, guys. Hit that button and we will get some luck on this Morlul. Ooh, he has a tiny mushroom. We should have taken that careful nature with the effect, with the effect spore. <clears throat> okay. Cool, cool, cool. All right, let's go. Let's go get it. We're gonna get it, get it on. Man, it is a nice day out. There's a bunch of snow out. But it is nice. No clouds in the sky. It's nice and blue. It's probably like 40 degrees out. Maybe less. It might be 32 something. I don't know. I'll check the weather. So we got another person from Japan. From Itawe or Iwate. I don't know how to pronounce it. Alright. Goodbye, Shinade. Give us something good. Come on. It's in a regular Pokeball. It's an Eevee. Hey, there's an Eevee. We are going to use that Eevee. For sure, maybe we'll get a Sylveon, that would be cool. Hmm, I wonder if it's a good nature. I hope it's a modest nature. Then we'll either go for Jolteon or we'll go for a Sylveon. That's awesome, Eevee! Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we'll go ahead and check out these Pokemon. And then we will end the episode. Alright, let's go back out. This has been a fun playthrough so far. I think, I mean, this game is just so much fun. I mean, I can play this game all day, and I do play all day. Alright, so let's check out the Abra. The Abra is level 1, so it's probably something that they bred, which means it's probably gonna have. Oh, gosh, Bastral Nature? This is their terrible breeding. Okay, great. And then we have a. Eevee with a mild nature, probably just hatched from the egg at level, well if it's level 15, if they hatched from an egg it would be uh, level 1. Hmm. So it looks like they did level it up to level 15 because it does have some Eevee spread. It has a slight Eevee spread, it's got Runaway, 
Um, Synchronoid, Synchronize. Okay, all right. Well, those are the Pokemon that are added to our team in this episode. I'm going to go ahead and hit that save button. Thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching this video. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and show your love down below. And let me know what you guys think of the episode and the series so far. And if you guys are ready for more and more Pokemon content, make sure you are subscribed to the Quotation Nation. Um, we have a lot of fun, a lot of different stuff going on. Make sure you hit that those links. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on uh, Twitch as well, where we stream Pokemon. But I'm going to get the heck out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. As always, if you're not hydrating, you're dehydrating. Quote by Lee. When you're thinking, damn, what is this? That's us. Make us speak as band when it hits like what? Give it some jams with that west side stuff. Everybody hands in the air straight up. Put them to the sky so high now jump. Jay is something crazy when that bass line bump. We're just getting started, but that beat gon' cut. We just wanna party so tonight, so what? Come on, everybody, put the drink down, bounce. Pull up with the hottie, get a fink down sounds. Give me something naughty when I sink down.